Jupiter Icy Moons Explorer, JUICE for short. Uh, there is the uh, Ariane 5 rocket that will take this um, well, pretty big payload uh, on, uh, well, the longest space trip, 4.1 billion miles, with a, a pack of instruments on board uh, to visit the moons of Callista, Europa and Ganymede, uh, with instruments developed by the Imperial College in London, all to find if there is water on those moons. Because, of course, if there's water, there is the possibility of life. And uh, they are being called Jupiter's icy moons. And they do believe that under the, uh, the icy surface, there could be saline seas, which, of course, could um, hold uh, basic life. So uh, instruments developed on board as it's about to take off. Engines firing. Allumage Vulcain. Allumage AP décollage. And that, I think, is a successful liftoff. Just to remind you, yesterday uh, it had to be postponed because of lightning. We still got uh, fairly um, thundery looking clouds there, but no indications of any problems with lightning. So they've hit the button. And those motors are really firing La there in French Guyana. Hugely powerful rocket. Uh, the reason being, of course, that they really have to get uh, into deep space. Um, Venus and Mars, La uh, sounds like the song title, have to be in perfect alignment uh, because Juice will perform a manoeuvre called gravitational assist when it gets higher, basically using uh, those two planets and the gravitational pull to slingshot to Jupiter. Uh, and that 4.1 billion miles means that we won't get any answers from the surface of those moons for another eight years. Uh, so clearly those watching that launch there uh, will won't be waiting that long to find out what we learn. Uh, but certainly it's taken off successfully on its way. The rocket tail still seen there high up in the sky. It's an amazing sensation for you as well, I'm sure. And thumbs up, I think. Uh, no problems being indicated. We're on our way to Jupiter.